Hello, and welcome to this second tutorial on using Omeka.net. In this video, I will take you through the process of creating your first collection and adding items to that collection. Let's go ahead and begin. First of all, we need to find our way to the dashboard for the site we created in the previous video. The easiest way to do this, at least initially, is to navigate to the Omeka.net site. As we did in the previous video, we will sign into our Omeka.net account by clicking the My Account link at the top right corner of the page. If you haven't saved your account credentials, then you will enter them on this page here. I'm going to go ahead and do that myself. When you get to your Omeka account page, you should, by default, see the site you created under My Sites. To get where we need to be to create our first collection, we're going to click the Manage Site link beneath the site you created for your class. You will be taken to what is referred to as your site's dashboard. It is here on this dashboard that you will create collections for your site, add items to those collections, add metadata, customize the look of your site by selecting a theme, and even add plugins to extend functionality of your site. So let's get started by creating your first collection. Before we create our first collection, I want to bring your attention to a setting you may or may not be aware of, but you may wish to change. If we click the Appearance link at the top of your site's dashboard, we will see the themes that are available to us, which are only two because we're using the free trial. This is a quick way to change the look and feel of our site. For the purposes of this video, however, we aren't interested right now in changing the theme. Let's go ahead and click the Settings tab on the Appearance page. You may want to take a couple minutes to acquaint yourself with the settings for your site. For the meantime, I want us to change one setting in particular. Let's go ahead and uncheck the Show Empty Elements checkbox, which is down towards the bottom here. This will prevent empty elements from showing under items you added to your collection. Otherwise, your item view on your site will look something like this. There will be several metadata elements that will either be blank or show no text in brackets. I don't think this would work great for our sites, so that's why we want to make sure the Show Empty Elements option is actually unchecked. If you prefer to keep it checked, you are always welcome to do so. Let's get back to our dashboard by clicking Omeka Admin at the top right of our page. If you're ever previewing your site and you're still logged into Omeka.net, you should see this bar at the top right that I clicked. This is a quick way to get back to your dashboard. So let's go back to Appearance. I'm going to go back and I'm going to uncheck Show Empty Elements because we don't want it to look like what we just saw. Okay, let's get started by creating our first collection. We're going to do this by clicking Collections in your left navigation bar on your dashboard. Now if you haven't created a collection before, your page will look somewhat different from mine. To create your first collection, you can either click Add a Collection at the top or bottom of the list of collections on this page. When you click the button, you should be taken to a page that reads Dublin Core at the top. It is important to note that these 15 metadata elements, as you can see on this page by scrolling, are known as simple Dublin Core and are for describing the collection, not the item, so keep that in mind as you fill out these fields. To create a collection, you technically don't even need to fill out any of these fields. As you can see here, when I click Add Collection, I was able to create a collection and not even provide a title. 
However, this isn't a very user-friendly way to manage or organize your collections. So we're going to go back to our unnamed collection by clicking Edit. We should now be back at our collection metadata page. I highly recommend at least providing a title to your collection. If you know further information about your collection that would map to the metadata elements listed here, go ahead and fill it in as much as possible. For the purposes of this video, however, it will be sufficient for me to simply provide a title and click Save Changes. I'm going to choose Spaces. Save Changes. Now on my screen, after clicking collections in the left navigation bar, we will see two collections. At this point, you should have at least one collection. This process has been a very basic walkthrough of creating a collection. Now let's move on to adding items to our collection. To add items to a collection, we're going to click the items option on the left navigation bar of our dashboard. As you can see, we haven't added any items to our site because that's what we're about to do. To add an item, let's simply click the Add an Item button. The first tab you will see to add an item in Omeka is the somewhat familiar at this point Dublin Core page. It looks almost exactly the same as the Add a Collection page, so make sure you're in the right place. To add an item, we're going to add the metadata for our corresponding item on this Dublin Core page. Once we've provided all of the metadata we have or plan to use for our item, we will click the Files tab on this page. As you can see here. Here we will upload the image or item described by the metadata we just created. Click the Choose File button on this page. The browser should open an Explorer or Finder box for you to select the appropriate file for upload. Once you've selected the appropriate file, click Open. Our file is now attached to our item. Finally, we want to make sure to select the appropriate collection for the item we just created below the Add Item button. I'm going to add this item to the Spaces collection of my Collier Library site. To save the item to your collection, now you will simply click the Add Item button. Once you've done so, you'll see that your item has been added to your collection. There are many features of Omeka that we didn't cover in this video, and we didn't really discuss Dublin Core or the significance of our metadata for that matter. If you have any questions, I encourage you to email me through Canvas. I will do my best to get back with you as soon as possible to assist you. In the meantime, I hope this video helps you get started creating your first collection in Omeka.